how you all doing welcome back if you're new here my name is ryan and in today's video we're here to do some stone work we're in a brand new project today and i want to walk you through the process of how to lay stone step by step i want to take you over here show you the job show you the stone that we're about to lay and afterwards we're going to jump right into the video so let's get started this is the area over here we have stucco on the side as you see here so we're just gonna lay stone right along here right underneath so this is our stone it's a four dimension stone this one is the big one and here we have a small this is the medium guy this is the stone just in case you guys wanna get the same stone this is the house we're just doing all the areas where you see with the plywood that bay window there gonna be stucco right in here we're gonna go all the way up there with stone stone alongside there we're also gonna go up with those pier with stone and over there gonna be stone as well okay guys with no further ado let's dive right into the video before we jump into the video go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already subscribed for more fun video like this one. Let's get started. First thing we want to do, we want to measure for our window because we want to try and work up to reach right up to our window so that we don't have to do any cutting. So we're just going to measure, the window going to be 24, 24 and a half. So we're, we're trying to come right up to here. We're just going to measure from the top down 8 inches. Eight and a quarter here, half an inch joint, another eight and a quarter down. We'll go half an inch joint again. So on and so forth. Eight and a quarter. So we have that one. So as I'm preparing, I notice my side wall is not straight. So what I did, I get a level and I just plumb it down and I just mark it off and cut it with my saw so that it's more straighter. straight as I can so for my weeping plastic we're gonna go around six inches down from from the bottom of our plate here so next step you want to put a piece of lumber right onto your window just because your, your window is not in in there yet so you can use that as a template to buck your stone right onto it so that way when you remove it your stone will be quarter inch away from your window we start by installing our stone. The first stone that you put down onto your foundation ledge, you want to plumb it, put your level across just like I'm doing right now, just so that it plumb. It's the same result as in put it straight up and plumb it. All the stone that's going to go onto the ledge, you want to plumb them and level them. That way you have a nice straight wall going up. It's a bit difficult right underneath here to work. Luckily, I don't have a back problem because if I do, <laughs> it would be a day and a half working on such a, in such a tight spot where you have to bend every second. I just see my first course. The first course is the, probably the one of the most important course of all. So you want to take your extra time, make sure that you get everything nice and straight, plumb and level, everything accurate as you go. As you see the cornerstone there, you want to make sure that you plumb it and level it as you go up. We're going to put a few more courses and then you need to put a line right in the corner that you're going to use as a gauge to work. To You're going to use it as a guide to work, go all the way up so that way you can maintain a straight wall, go all the way up in the corner. As I go in the video, I'll explain to you guys um ways of how to get your banner and stuff like that if you like i have more depths in details video of how to lay stone the tree rule that you have to follow in harder to maintain the the pattern so feel free to go and check those videos if you like after this one so that way you get an idea of how to farm your band as you see in my foundation wall here we have some brick ties as you go up and to your wall, you want to bend those brick ties so that they sit flush onto your stone. So that way it can help to support your stone as you go up. If you don't have those brick ties in place, you want to drill into your foundation with brick ties. 
and top can screw that way you can anchor it into your wall as you go up this model that i'm using it have coloring because my client here you want a more white looking color match to match to the stone so we have to use some colored i notice when using the color it tend to dry the model more faster so every now and again we have to do the joint as we go up here i have christopher started to prepare the line that's going to go in the corner to use as our guide to maintain the straightness Here we're just putting up a 45 nail now just to help to um to have a straight corner go all the way up. Uh, up there. Pull out the line. Because I think the big one leaves on the other job side. Probably one of the most important thing you need to know as a stonemason or as a beginner is to try to understand the magnitude of how to lay stone, the rule, the tree rule of how to lay stone. And the most important thing is to don't go no higher than the biggest size stone you have, which in my case, the jumbo stone would be the highest stone that we have here. That one would be right in the middle here that I put my level on there. Once you reach up to the highest stone, which is the jumbo stone, you have to put one across and break it. I have a few videos, feel free to go and check those videos out. And you don't want to go no longer than four feet. So your bed joint not supposed to be no longer than four feet. As I go, I will explain more. Make sure you put a mortar and stone in such a way so your grandson could come and say, Yes, my granddad did this. That's how I work, man. That's and and still it's standing firm. That's how I work. It has to be done properly, man. That's me. For 100%. Everything. You need the, the weeping plastic. So that's the whole morning. I just want assurance to make sure that he's getting his job done properly. This is how you face your stone just in case you have to straighten the face of it. The stone that's gonna go to the corner, it has to have a rough face. So all the stone that go into the, the corner here, you have to face them. Coming up in the video, you see how to face the stone as we go as well. And you have a few different ways of how to face the stone. I have video as well up where you can check out more depths of how to face your stone. If you like, you can check that out as well. Here we go. So we just put our chisel right across and I want to face it right where it's about three and a half from the back over. You want to go right across, put your, your, your chisel and straighten it so that way it looks nice and straight. When you look up in your corner, you should have a nice straight line go all the way up. That way it looks like a professional did it. So don't do like most of those guys who just tend to just, you know, just throw the stone in the wall. Here I'm just doing a different technique. I'm just marking my stone right around and I just follow the mark with my, my hammer and just tap the back after and it break off nice and straight. Just like that. Now we're gonna go ahead and face it the same way like we did earlier. As I mentioned earlier, this joint dry really fast, so we have to join them as we go. Here we are installing our weeping plastic. Normally we step down six inches from the bottom of the plate. Here, being as we're doing stone, sometimes you might have to do a bit of step down, so that's fine. We're installing our Tyvek. Tyvek usually we do six inches above our weeping plastic. After install our Tyvek, we go ahead and we tape the joint right along. Make sure that it's nice and sealed, prevent water from sneaking there later on. And this is how it looks. If you're getting value so far from the video guys, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. It really help the channel out so that the video share. 
so more people can view and learn from it as well. Appreciate that. Thank you. It's very important to keep a nice clean looking stone. And one other fact to keep the stone clean is to always cut the mortar away from the joint. Wait till it's dry properly before you go ahead and join it. You want to get me hungry give me a nasty looking stonework i hate see when it's messy when the stone mess and messy all over the place currently I, I put my level right onto the wall so that i can mark a plumb mark onto the wall so that way we can maintain we can follow the plumb mark go all the way up just to maintain the straightness from where i stand onto that wall where the bay window there so there's the mark on the wall we're just going to follow that as we go up so that way we know that that piece of wall there is nice and straight that's going towards the bay window. Guys, we're gonna put some brick ties now. You already know what the brick ties are. So we're just installing some brick ties. As you go, you wanna install brick tie. This is what we use to maintain the strength. So you see I knock it to hear the sound from the inside. So that way we can put it right into our studs. Hold better. Better to put it in the last hole in the bottom of the brick tire as well. And if you have any question concerning the stone installation, feel free to go ahead and ask them down in the bottom. I usually try my best to answer all you guys question. Even though you know Ryan is a super busy guy, but I still find time and you know you guys are family to, to Ryan right now, right? Day one family, enough love and respect to stick around with me from start until now. I appreciate you guys. Okay guys, so this is where we at. See, we are almost right up to the top now. We only have this much left to go. We probably go all the way down. Here as our guide. guys i'm gonna wrap it up here hope you get value from this video if you do get value from this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more popcorn video like this one we still have a long way to go we're just gonna go over that side there and start to lay some more stone over there peace out for now